Hello, this is Steve with Leap, and in this video I want to show you a really cool integration that we did with Hover. Hover is a tool that allows you to upload photos of a, of a homeowner's house, and then they will send you back uh, measurements uh, of the entire exterior of the home. We plug in with, with Hover so we can actually take all of those measurements that they're going to generate and then have them auto-populate into Leap to generate your estimates. And then just like everything else, we can take and flow that into proposals and contracts, tie in the financing with that. Um, and then there's a couple other cool things that we do you'll see in this video um, that you can actually like add on to what, your, what Hover already does for you anyway. Um, on top of that, uh, at, at in this video, first I'm going to show you the application itself and how it works uh, from the sales rep or the end user's point of view. And then I'll show you a couple things that happened on the back end. So I'll pause the video and then I'll pick it back up from our website and show you how we can pull a couple things into our admin dashboard. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is tap into siding. So I've already added my customer. If I click into siding, um, I have my standard measure sheet here with all my widgets that I measure for. I'm going to, in the top right hand corner, there's a little button called tools. So if I click on tools, you see the hover logo comes up. I just tap on that. I want to do a naked search and just search for a couple reports that I have already downloaded. Hopefully my internet picks up here. Okay, I'm going to select this one in the middle. And this will download all of my measurements and then have that auto populate into my measure sheet. So you see I have a couple measurements on my siding, insulation, house wrap. And you can map uh, any pretty much any of the fields that Hover is going to return a quantity for, whether it's siding or roofing. And you can map those into measure sheet items inside of Leap. So you just take in a say, hey, this is my siding. I want this to pull over the you know siding area. This one is my insulation. That one also pulls over to siding area. If you were doing roofing, you would have you know the roofing area and you would link that to say your shingles and your underlayment line items. So so it's very, uh, very customizable. When I click this little done button in the top corner, then it adds all of my measurements. And you see here I have a price for James Hardy, 28178 If I swipe my finger across the screen, I can get a price on Prodigy. And if I swipe it again, I get a price on Charter Oak. So just like that, I calculated three prices. It really, I have done zero data entry. I selected my customer. I went into, uh, selected the hover report. That auto populate my measurements, which in turn populates my um, pricing. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go into my resources section, the bottom left corner here. Leap will automatically recognize that you link the hover report, so it go ahead and downloads that report and puts it into your resources section. So then you can click into this and then use the actual hover report as part of your presentation. So when you're going around and you're trying to justify your price to the homeowner of how much a particular project costs, you know, you can go here, well, look, Mr. And Mrs. Jones, this is how we came to the price that we're about to give to you. So you kind of like blame the sticker shock on your actual device and it looks much more professional when you're presenting it this way. So say you get all this and I'll go all the way to the end here. Here's my roofing measurements. And then you'll have all the photos here at the end. And um, I just wanted to get to the end because I want to show you all these photos are going to come into play here in a second. So I'm going to close this out. Notice there's a 3D model, another hover, hover logo right there. If I click on this, this is actually going to take me directly to the 3D model that I can then, you know, put, put paste all the different colors of the siding and the roofing, etc. So it's like the full functionality of the Hover uh, website. So if I click on here and I can click on a little paintbrush and then maybe navigate to... Um, Let's see, let's do Owens Corning, and then I'll put a certain roof on there. We'll do a duration premium, and then I'll put like a brown wood on there. Okay, so once we have our roof on, I can then take a screenshot like that. Just take a screenshot of the entire uh, house, and then I'll just go ahead and throw that down. Oops, hit done. You might even need to draw on there a little bit, like, you know, hey, we're going to do, you know, th these windows, and then we're going to put that roof on, hit done. We're going to save that to photos. Okay, we're done with the 3D model. Now I'm going to go into a contract. When I go to a contract, you'll see we have the hover report. We also have all of our templates. So if I wanted to make the hover report part of the contract, I could do that. Um, for now, I'm just going to select this uh, roofing contract. and I'm going to hit next. I'm going to go ahead and fill this thing out really quickly. Um, and you'll see here at the end, I'll do Timberline. Okay, and then when I scroll down to the bottom, remember all those photos? Uh, on the hover report, well, they're automatically linked to my contract. So I don't have to do anything extra there. I can go ahead and draw a sketch. Done. Um, I'm going to take that and add one more photo. So I'm going to click Add New. And let's go to my camera roll and we'll add this one. Done. Okay, now I have 
um, the screenshot in there, and then I hit next. This is going to generate a contract like normal. Um, and when I flip through this, you'll see that all of my hover photos are automatically linked. And my screenshot is linked as well. So this is just makes it so much more clear to the homeowner of what is being done. So you know you see you have all these, you can mark those up, uh, mark the mark the screenshot up. When I hit sign, I just go ahead and sign it like normal. Two finger touch to initial it. Okay, we got all of our initials in. And then I can go ahead and send this thing off. Select a couple brochures, hit send. I want to send it to mine. Send. Okay, and then there's one last step, and that is to result the lead. So when I go in here and I result this lead, I'm going to click this, and you just result it as normal. No, nothing, nothing special about this. So I'll go finance approved, total sale amount, we'll do 15000 select no finance option, good to go, and hit save. Oops, I gotta put a note in here. Oops. Ready for install. Okay, and then hit save. Okay, so now what that does is, uh, I'm gonna pause this video and you'll see, but it's gonna actually take and obviously upload the contract, it's gonna upload the results report that you would normally get, and then we're also gonna take that hover report and we're gonna upload okay, so that. From the Leap Admin Dashboard side, I'm gonna go into the attachment section, which I already have loaded up, and you'll see here that um, you know all the attachments are there like normal, but you'll have a column for report. So if I click into this, Leap had automatically uploaded the link to report, that the sales rep used on this lead. So what's cool about this is it's not just here, but it's the same way that like when we send your contracts or your results, you can set up settings for the hover report to go to different locations, different emails, etc. So underneath the app settings, you'll see a setting for report sending. If I click into that, you can see here, we can send your reports to any of the third parties uh, that you're, you're used to with your contracts and proposals. Um, and then you have a couple settings as far as do you want it to show up inside of the resources section of the app? Do you want the hover report to show up under contracts and do you want it to show up under proposals? And then, you know, in this, the way that this is set up is I have it going uh, emailed, the hover report is emailed, and it's also uploaded uh, to market chart. So one last thing I wanted to show you is when, if I go back to attachments, if I go in here to results, and our results form is uploaded just like normal. The only difference is we take all those photos from the hover report and we're going to link them to your actual results document as well. So it just brings a little bit more value to, you know, the, the hover um, software. So, you know, you don't use it just for like 3D modeling and working on measurements. You're going to take and tie that all the way in estimate, you know, calculate your prices on your estimate, turn that into um, a presentation so then you can use the presentation all inside of Leap. Um, we're also going to um, tie all that in into your contract and or proposals with the photos and measurements and then upload all of that information back into the CRM. We even track, so if I click here on logs, we even track like when we open uh, the report. So you can see here, this particular lead that I had ran and resulted in this video, um, you can see here we opened up the hover report at 125 and you can see every page we flipped through you know all the way through when we closed it and then or here we closed it and then opened up the 3d model and how long we spent in the 3d model um, and then we went right into a contract and sent it so you have a time stamped history of everything that the sales rep is doing including going into their hover report so you can just really get a you know a microscopic view of exactly what's going on 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 your appointments. So uh, really cool integration. We're really excited to launch it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, you can mess, email us, call us, met this little chat bot. A lot of people like to use that. Um, something, you know, we're really excited to bring to market. Hope you like it.